question of what difference does advance make in our lives as junior faculty, faculty coming up through the ranks. And I have to say, as a third year faculty in the College of Architecture, Planning, and Preservation, that advance makes all the difference. Um, so I am, as I count, the only underrepresented faculty of color in my school. I am one of two women in my program. And the issues that the president um, talked about in terms of qualitative versus quantitative research in my program, I probably represent a minority in that as well. Um, so it, coming to advance, I, did the, I was in the second year cohort. I raised my hand for that group. And I'm now in my third year on campus, having just passed um, my third year review with Flying Colors. Mm -hmm. I credit a lot of the people in this room. It is not usual where I get to stand in a room of faculty, and especially faculty of color, and look around and say that I know almost every face in the room, and I feel supported by almost every face in this room. But that, that is true in this context. Um, and it has made a huge difference for me as a faculty coming into a university. I did a postdoc, and I will say I've been at other universities where, where I have not felt that kind of support. Um, but Carrie Ann, Stephen, Carol, Kumea, President Lowe, Provost Rankin, you guys have truly instituted a culture here that we feel in our everyday lives. So, I don't come to campus normally on Fridays, but I enthusiastically <laughs> came to campus on Fridays during my year in advance, and that is absolutely true. Um, it was my time to moan and groan. I don't get, we don't hug in my department, we hug in advance. Um, it was my time to get hugs, it was my time to get support, it was my time to tell people all the things, great things about me that I don't get to say in my department because it sounds like bragging. But it's really true. We do some amazing things, and we figure out how to do gracious bragging in advance. We learn how to say yes and how to say no in important ways. We learn um, all the things that are happening across campus so we know when to say yes and no, because sometimes we often feel as the only and the um, the only and the, <laughs> the that we that we feel so. Um, obliged to say yes to so many things. And we learn that in other campuses and other departments, people aren't. They're not being asked to do these things, right? So we, um, just having those cohorts from across campus to teach us how to say no, how to learn to respect our boundaries, and how to succeed, and not only to survive, but to succeed, I think has been the greatest thing for me because I don't want to pass through my first six years at the university and become an associate professor and not enjoy my life. But I think I have learned from my peers that there is something wonderful about this job. Um, there's something wonderful when we connect to our students. There's something wonderful when we can connect to our colleagues on our campus. But we need multiple systems of support in order to do that. And Advance has truly, truly provided that support for, I think, each and every one of us in this room, I can say. So thank you to President Lowe and to Provost Rankin for supporting this program. Um, it is very well needed at this campus, and it's an extreme system of support for all of us. Thank you.